show you a lesson. It's similar to a lesson I did in my book, Watercolor, the Spirit of Spontaneity. So it starts out with this lesson that I call going beyond the boundaries of realism. And that's just an exciting way to do this watercolor. We're not trying to capture a particular scene. We're just trying to capture the essence of a landscape. So we're going to start out in a similar way. You can see the landscape here on a larger format. This is actually a print because I sold this when I was in Ireland. And it's really kind of cool because what we're going to do is the way we wet the paper, there's going to be accidental areas that get left light. And then we're going to work with a focus of light again, going from a warm, like yellows, into the warmer reds and then into the cooler colors like purples and blues on the edges. And this is just a way to create that exciting landscape feel because you see that a lot in landscape. But then beyond that, we're going to just create maybe some rocks, maybe some trees, maybe some mountains. We don't know what's going to happen because we're going to let the painting determine what happens. And because I'm right-handed, I've got to turn this over a little bit. See, now we need to put some color on this gauze. The gauze only transfers lines if you paint on top of it. Certain colors transfer the color better. Now, a color that I know works really well is manganese blue. So I'm going to take this brush with manganese on it. And look, at I'm, I'm just holding the brush like this and letting it hit only the gauze. See that? I'm just pulling it so it's just touching only the gauze. And this is going to give me an insurance policy that I'm going to get some lines. Because I'm not sure if indigo will transfer the lines. It might, it might not. Okay, and then we're going to take off this too. This, this is the gauze. Now my gauze usually gives me lines. But because I took and threw some big shots of this warm color at the very end, what happened is it got really wet under the gauze. So what happened is sometimes we got lines, but other times we actually got bleed backs where it was so wet that it ran out of the gauze into little areas in between. And I don't mind it. I just go with whatever I get because all I'm doing is creating textures. 